Well, uh, I, I'll just say, obviously, this is uh, a tough, tough loss for us. Um, you know, right now, our, our, as a group, our confidence is, is uh, certainly not where it was a month ago. Uh, we're just not playing very well. Um, and we're not showing enough, you know, fight uh, out there the way we need to. Um, disappointing, obviously. And uh, we got to get better. We got a lot of games left, and we got to get better as we move forward. What was your uh, strategy coming into the game, going, going up against someone the size of uh, Winger, knowing you have a pretty big uh, height disadvantage? What was your game plan to attack that? Yeah, the biggest thing we were trying to do was create turnovers, which we did a good job with. Um, but you know we didn't do a good enough job converting those turnovers into points. Um, he was able to get a lot of easy baskets. We needed to do a little bit better job with that. Um, but that you know he had a good game, but he wasn't the story of the game. The story of the game was was us um, just getting frustrated and not finishing on top of the rim and missing shots that, you know, some of them are contested and some of them are tough shots, but we're pressing a little bit too much and uh, just not doing the things you need to win. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Darren took two charges early. I think both were on him, but you know, we, we just didn't, we, 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 it, I wouldn't say we came out flat because we were up at the first media timeout, but the second things go south, like we got to fight through them and um, we're struggling to do that. I got a lot of guys struggling right now. I mean, that, that's what it comes down to. I have a lot of guys who, who, you know, aren't seeing the ball go in the basket when they shoot and then, uh, because of that, they're letting one play become a frustration to the next play, and it's snowballing. And you know, nobody's feeling sorry for us. They're out there playing, so we got it. We got to fight, and uh, we got to do a better job with that. I felt good. I felt like okay, here we go again. We're gonna we're gonna you know get back in this thing, and. Um, we then had a steal, and we missed an open three, which I thought was a good look by Darren. Uh, you know, when the play went on, I thought Derek could have attacked in transition and maybe gotten to the rim, but he passed it to Darren. Good shot, but we missed it, and then we fouled them. David Brown, who's a good player, we fouled him. He had an N one. You know, then we missed a layup. They scored a layup. We turn it over. They score again. I mean, it's just. You know, we, we and, and, and you could see it was deflating to our team when that happened. Um, and we got a battle back from that, and we just, we just didn't. And, you know, late when, when the game was, you know, out of hand to some degree, our guys started scrapping and clawing and trying to fight back in. But uh, a little too little, too late. We got to do a better job, you know, at the start of that second half when, when Chris made that three. How tough is it not having a guy that's giving us a basket? Uh, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Look, it's been a long time since it's been that situation. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's tough. Um, it's tough. Yep. Yeah, Ben Chris Brewer can do that to some degree, but he can't do it all the time. And right now, there's just too much being put on him. You know, he's got to run the team. He's got to make big shots. I mean, and there's games that he's done it. But there's just too much on him. And uh, Mark has really struggled since league play has started. He was phenomenal, non-league phenomenal. Really struggled since league play has started. Um, you know, Darren has struggled at times. You know, even at the free throw line in the first half. You know, we're four for 10. We missed a front end. Um, it's just so many little things that if, you know, you can't be four for 10 from the free throw line, miss a front end, it's really four for 11. You know, if you make eight out of 11, which is what we should do, we're down four at halftime, you know, or, or instead of 10. So there's just, 
little things that when you add them up, they become big things. And right now, we're, we're not doing the little things very well, and, the, and we're not doing the big things very well. You went to uh, uh, Lawrence earlier. Was that something by design? Energy, energy, you know, energy. Marquise has really competed hard. Uh, he would have played against Buffalo, but he got hurt in the Northern Illinois game. He got a, popped in the eye, so I, he wasn't allowed to play uh, energy. And, and the one thing about Marquise is he's not scared, and he competes, and he, he screws up about everything that you could possibly screw up, but he's playing incredibly hard, and uh, he competes at a high level, so that, that's important. We, we need that. We need more of that. We need that to rub off on other guys. And it, you know what? In Northern Illinois, it did. I, I guess so. I, you know what? I, I, I don't know the answer to that. It, it may be. I'm not sure. He made the next free throw, so I guess it didn't, it didn't affect him. He had missed the first, made the second. They saw that he wasn't in the book. That's a that's an error on our part, our staff's part. So, um, you know, if we had lost by one, I would have been <laughs> upset. It seemed like down the stretch, anytime you guys were trying to get confidence, like you hit a three pointer, mm -hmm. they would take it right back. So it yeah. Was a quick play. Do you attribute mm -hmm. that to this? Well, we're pressing and trying to scramble to get back in the game. And you know what? When we turned them over, it was good for us. When we didn't turn it over, they were able to get open threes that they made or they were able to get layups. And sometimes that happens when you're pressing and trying to scramble back in the game. You know what? Sometimes they shoot those shots quickly and they miss, and then it becomes a layup for you and they get tighter. But uh, And that's sort of what happened against Bowling Green. They were up 15, and they do the same thing. They'd either turn it over or they'd take a quick shot and they'd miss, and it became baskets for Bowling Green. It didn't tonight. They did a good job handling it. Um, anything you want to look at? I guess you're looking at everything but going forward. Yeah, going to look at everything. I mean, I got to look at the lineup. I got to look at who I'm playing. I mean, I got to look at all that stuff. I mean, we're trying to win, and I got to get guys out there that are going to help us win and that are going to compete and are going to do the things that are needed for us to win. And right now, you know, we don't have enough guys doing that. You know, we just don't. It may be too early to ask, but is this a situation where you keep doing what you're doing with 10, 11 guys? No, I, listen, I only, did that, I only did that because I was looking for somebody right. to give us a spark. You know, that's really what it came down to. I'm looking for somebody to give us a spark and um, – you know, late, I'm trying to see if some of these guys can help us at some point because, you know, some guys hadn't played a lot lately. Um, so, you know, we'll watch the tape and we'll, 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 you know, we'll make whatever adjustments we need to make. What's the message moving forward? To, uh, oh, we got a game on Sunday. Shoot, nobody feels sorry for us. So we got to play. I mean, we got to play. We got to, uh, we played five league games. We got 13 more left. We got to play. And, uh, you know, Sunday comes, win, lose, we got to play on Wednesday. Win, lose, we got to play on Saturday. Guys got to get up off the mat. I mean, nobody feels sorry for, for us. I, I mean, my, my, uh, my uh, mindset tomorrow is to practice and try to get ourselves better. And uh, we got to try to figure something out to get ourselves going. And uh, guys in the locker room got to come together and find a way to, to stop the bleeding. You know, I'll have to watch the film. I'll have to watch the film. I thought, you know, some of these guys, they, they're getting looks that I, I think are good looks, but they're not making them. And, you know, I, I'd have to watch the film. Darren didn't make a three. He was 0 for 4. And I, I got to watch the film. Darren shot 42% from three last year. If he was in a gym today, uh, he would shoot. If we shot 100, he would make... I don't know, 68 out of 100 threes. You know, so I have to check to see if they're bad shots or good shots. But if they're good shots, he, you know what? He's got to shoot them. He's got to make them. Um, if they're bad shots, then, then we've got to do a better job of moving the basketball to get, to get a good look. And, you know, you can criticize 
I'm not saying you are. I'm saying you can criticize every shot of a, of a game. You can say, well, that wasn't a good shot or that wasn't a good shot. Or that. You know, these guys, when you get it on top of the rim, you got 17 offensive rebounds, you got to convert them. I mean, you got to convert them. You can't have 17 offensive rebounds. That's, a, that's the ability to have 34 second chance points, right? 17 times two, 34. We have eight second chance points. So you got to convert them. And I don't know if it's kick out three or if it's not finishing. You got to convert those plays. And, you know, we, we hustled. We, we, I'm not saying we didn't try, but we got to play better. We got to play better. And uh, you can't let one mistake snowball into three. And right now, you know, that's what we're doing. We got to get better. And uh, like I said, nobody's feeling sorry for us. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get at it tomorrow, start practicing, and try to get ourselves right. And then we got a game on Sunday. How much you mentioned it in your first comments about you just not saying confidence. Confidence, yeah. As a month, as a yeah. month ago. Yeah. Is there anything you can say that's it? No, listen, you know, as a coach, you're trying to figure that out daily. You know, you're like, okay, what can I do to get this guy going? What can I do to get Mark going? You know what I mean? He's been playing so good, been helping us win all these games. He, he, he was a big reason why we started out the way we started out. He was, he was playing great. He wasn't missing any shots. He was shooting 70% from the field. He was getting fouled. He was going to the free throw line. And of late, he's, he's struggling. So trying to work with him. Uh, you know, need him to play better. That that's you know he's a senior and uh, he's got to play a little bit better. And and I'm not using him as he's sort of indicative of them all right now. You know, there's a lot of them that were playing so well early that right now you can go through the last two or three games or four or five games and say, boy, he hasn't he hasn't produced the way he was producing earlier. But you know what, guys are in the gym. Yeah, Derek's not, you know, KK, and you can, you can go on. Listen, I can go down just about all of them, right? I mean, just about. So it is what it is. I mean, we got to find a way collectively as a group to, uh, to, to play the way we, can, we are capable of playing. That's, what, that's our challenge. And, uh, you know, we'll get after it tomorrow, and we'll, we'll meet. We'll watch a little bit of film, and then we're going to practice and find a way to beat Toledo. That's our job.